Sleigh bells ring, are you listening? In the lane, snow is glistening. <laughs> a beautiful sight, we're happy tonight. Walking in a winter wonderland. Oh wait, we're going to church in a winter wonderland. <laughs> Can you <laughs> believe this? All right, it's Sunday, first Sunday of Lent. Oh my gosh, I forgot my book. I'll get it, don't worry. Okay, sorry. We've got it, don't worry. Um, we're going to church in Stowe, Vermont today at Blessed Sacrament Church. Look at this snow and this church. It is so beautiful. It looks like they have painted the outside. Uh, it's just, it's just gorgeous. Mm, it smells good in here. Today is Sunday, the first Sunday of Lent, and we are here in Stowe, Vermont. As, as I showed you in the beginning, it's snowy Stowe, Vermont, and we came to this church called the Blessed Sacrament Church. It's really special. It looks like a log cabin on the outside, but it, it's almost like every part of it is painted, and we're going to show you a little bit, and we just found out some history. So it was established in 1949, and actually by... Uh, they said they owe it to Maria von Trapp, if you know, climb every mountain, <laughs> or the hills are alive with the sound of music. So Maria von Trapp uh, is responsible for this church, and that's just so unique. There's a Trapp family lodge here in Stowe, Vermont, which hopefully I'll get to see while I'm here. But this uh, church, there's just a lot of history that we learned too, that also on the outside of the church, which you saw a little bit when we were coming in, there are scenes of a brother who went to Molokai to help. His name is Joseph Dutton. He went to Molokai to help serve with Father Damien. So there's just a lot of history here. And then all the artwork, um, you'll see that the ceiling has artwork, the stations, the windows, it's just so beautiful. And it's all done by the same artist. Um, I believe his name is Andre Girard, and he is a French artist. And it's just really magnificent the way he's painted the windows. And I could tell that it was all similar, but I didn't know it was all done by one artist. And I just want to show you guys a little bit of the stations because they, for me, are, are really special. They're kind of abstract um, or impressionistic. Um, but I just thought they were really unique and obviously a lot of artists I've seen done, do this where you know they they show you who Jesus is because he's got the halo or you know he's the glowing figure but I, I just love the um, kind of impressionistic modern take of it. Here's uh, Simon helping Jesus carry his cross. And Andre Girard um, was living through the French Resistance, so you can kind of feel the the darkness, the pain, the the war um, that that he was living through, that he put into into it. It's really quite beautiful. And apparently the story goes that he, someone asked if he would donate these stations for this church. He came to look at the church and he said, I'll only donate it if you'll let me paint 
the rest of the church, which what a huge blessing. So he did these windows, and I, I'm assuming he did the ceiling as well. Blessed Mother, going into Egypt. The Nativity, I would assume. The Annunciation. The Blessed Mother. The Virgin as a child, which we don't see that often. Here is that Blessed Mother with angels. And then the apparition of the Blessed Virgin at La Salette, which happened in France. So the French guy <laughs> putting that on the windows. Um, and here we've got the beautiful statue to the unborn. Anyway, this just seems like a really, just a treasure of a church. And it's a um, Blessed Sacrament Church. And I love the, the statue of Mary. And maybe I could... Um, Behind the Blessed Sacrament, they have a painting um, that I'm sure he did that has these angels. It's all angels, and I love the wings, and you've got the Holy Spirit, the dove. Love you, bless you, Lord. Our angels are here in the forest now. Yeah, my hand. That, that's about the age of my grandson. Jesus' hand. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Have a wonderful day. This is what happens sometimes. <laughs> this is this is life. But like, it don't worry. It came back, and you know, they when they make statues, they make them like that. So, Jesus, transform me into another host. I want to be a living host for you. You are a great and all powerful Lord. You can grant me this favor. Oh my Jesus, I understand the meaning of host, the meaning of sacrifice. I desire to be before your majesty, a living host. That is a living sacrifice that daily burns in your honor. And Jesus said to me, you are a living host, pleasing to the heavenly father. Throughout this Lent, I am a host in your hand, dear Jesus. Make use of me so that you may enter into sinners yourself. Demand anything you like, no, anything you like. No sacrifice will seem too much for me when souls are at stake. Dear Lord, give me strength to bear my crosses and to offer my sufferings in union with you and your mother, Our Lady of Sorrows. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is so beautiful. I mean, it's just gorgeous. I mean, I don't, we get snow in St. Louis, but I don't know, there's something, this just feels different. It just, all the trees are so beautiful. So sweet, sweet old man Dennis just gave me this book called Painting on Light, which is about um, Andre Girard's paintings. And, uh, and as I mentioned, mentioned um, Joseph Dutton was born here in Stowe. There he is. And yeah, this With is, Father Damien. He's going to meet uh, Father Damien at Malachi. So he went there to help Father Damien. And it's just, I don't know, just a beautiful, I love that there's so much history and stories and, um, you know, this artist is, is, has a very fine talent 
also for painting um, the windows and letting the light come in. So just beautiful. <laughs> I just stepped into about four feet of snow. I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> okay, so, and to end the day, or well, to start the day, we started with math, but uh, now I'm going to go skiing, and this is only the second time in my life that I'm going to be skiing, so it's very exciting. Maybe we'll even send you a little video, add that to the one for tonight, or today, or tomorrow. So, stay for me. <laughs> And my spirit exalts in God, my Savior, for he has looked with mercy on my lowliness, and my name will be forever exalted for the mighty God has done great things for me and his mercy you guys are getting a special treat today because this is the second uh, church we're visiting in one day we're actually on the mountain so we Skied a portion of mountain, and we are at the mountain chapel. It's like a halfway point to get down to the bottom of the hill. And this chapel is made possible for everybody and anyone who wants to come and worship the Lord and pray. And we met this lovely, these lovely people who <laughs> dug out the door so that we could get in and see it. And so, uh, and they're of the Jewish faith, which is so beautiful. So they came and and open and she's a clergyman, right? Yeah. So, uh, Jewish faith, and uh, sh they opened the door and we got to come in. And so, now I'm going to sing. <laughs> you want to sing uh, Holy Is Sure. Yeah. Is there a good spot to stand? And, and has lifted up the meek and the lowly. He has come to help his servant Israel. He remembers his promise to our fathers and home. 